As soon as Chanel number two's parents learned that their daughter's dead body had been found, they went on a cruise to celebrate. That's how much they hated this dead bitch. So when it fell to me to host an open casket funeral and fulfill her dying wish of being cremated and shot into space, I was like, yeah, okay. So stupid. This is what happens to sneaky backstabbers. Just so you know, I took all your clothes. It's too bad you had to die before we found out what ethnicity you are. That speech in L number two. God, I love working you so much. Dearly beloved, we're gathered here today because a backstabbing little bitch got exactly what was coming to her. Chanel number two literally never had my back. Whenever I wanted to strut across campus or down a long hallway with the other Chanel's, she'd always be like, I am a colonic. So instead of strutting across campus in a beautiful diamond formation, we were forced to strut across campus in a triad formation like a bunch of hobos. Because number two didn't think she should have to walk behind me. But whenever I'd find myself descending a staircase in heels, you can bet number two was right there behind me with a helpful little nudge. Oh, sorry, Chanel. This dumb, dead whore also used her high ponied wiles to seduce my man into rubbing uglies with her. So I hope you all grasp the concept that this is what happens when you rub uglies with my man. You end up dead. So, have fun being dead, number two. You are a stupid little trollop, and I hope you're burning in hell right now. Amen. Amen. Now, I'd like to invite you all out to the driveway to the mobile crematorium for some light refreshments, courtesy of our friends at spaceburial.today. Thank you.